So we're here with Lachlan Tiziani at the Draft Combine. Lachlan, how's the last couple of days, mate? Yeah, a bit tiring, long days, but no, it's been a great experience and enjoyed every minute of it. It's been good. Now, you almost broke a long-standing record um, held by Nick Natanui. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yeah, so the run and vertical jump, uh, jump 97, I think. Natanui was 103 or something, so a bit of a surprise there, but yeah, it was good. Now, can you describe what sort of footballer you are? Uh, a bit of play every position, back, mid, forward, so yeah, a bit of utility there, but yeah, I'd like to use my speed off half-back, probably my favourite position. Now you're playing in the TAC Cup this year, can you tell us about your season? Yeah, I think it was consistent, I thought, started off really well, but probably faded out during the end part of the season, but no, I was pretty happy with my season, yeah, I thought it was consistent, so I was happy. Now there's seven boys here from our PM Capital Giants Academy and you're one of them. Can you tell us a bit about how you got involved with the academy and the experience so far? Yeah, so I was um, Broken Hill, started off in Broken Hill. Dale Tonkin was our development fella, so he took us for training, I think it was every Monday. So he did an important role in my career too and um, yeah, it's been good. It's a tough one, but do you think you'd, you'd have as many chances or as many um, pathways through to the AFL without the academy? Uh, no, I don't think. I think Giants do it great role in the academy and getting the boys like fit and skillful ready for like these sort of events so yeah no they play a big role in our career what does everyone from back home think about you being here on the big stage oh uh, yeah they're all pumped for me i got a few messages before from the the some of the boys back in broken hill so yeah no they're getting around me which is good now how have you found the last couple of days so obviously quite exhausting um and the next month ahead is, is quite an exciting time yeah i know yeah uh, pretty nervous going into draft night but i guess we got to see what happens uh, test it all right so hopefully yeah we'll see what happens. Do you have any uh, advice for guys coming through the academy now um, what would you tell them if you had a chance? Um, just work hard and probably use your strengths and uh, yeah hopefully some of the boys in the academy can come here and press do their, do their thing get good scores and hopefully get drafted to the Giants. So you nailed the the vertical leap in, at the combine can you tell us do you have a background in basketball or what's your background outside of footy? Uh, yeah so I played a bit of basketball a bit of cricket and a bit of swimming when I was younger so yeah no just them sports mainly focused on footy was my main one but yeah. And having mentors around at the academy or, and elite players you know training alongside those kind of guys how do you think that helps you? Yeah I think it helps you huge amounts just they tell you where to run like what it's like in an AFL club yeah just hard work how much hard work you've got to do. Did you speak with Leon Cameron at all on this draft combat? Uh, yeah I had a meeting with Leon the first uh, day I got here so yeah no it was good to meet him and have a chat to him. Can you give anything away did he what was he like? Nah yeah no nah, he was a good bloke nice yeah no nah, I liked him. And so the draft's in just over a month. Can you see yourself wearing orange? Yeah, hopefully I'm wearing orange, running around spotless, but yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see.